You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight, and Keith, it is time now for a very special segment. Yeah, joining us now is Lisa Edwards from the American Heart Association, Jacob Stone with UK Healthcare, and Kenneth Horsey, I think you can recognize he's a UK football player uh, towering over me. <laughs> um, we're here because it is uh, kind of awareness, CPR Awareness Month, and, and so we've got great reason to be talking about this. Lisa, let's start with you and just talk about why this is so important to have this month to talk about CPR. Yeah, it's thank you so much for having us, first of all. Um, we're really excited to be able to talk to you and share information so people are prepared to save a life. Um, over 350,000 Americans each year go into out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, and about 70% of those actually occur in the home. So many times you would be working to save someone's life. It might be your parent, it might be your spouse. So that's why it's so important today for us to learn and talk about CPR and be prepared. Um, about um, also, um, just when looking at numbers and thinking about it, um, when you, if someone goes into cardiac arrest, um, the urgency of starting CPR immediately is so important. Um, the chance of survival decreases about 10% for every minute that they don't receive CPR. So that's why we're excited to be here today and, and share um, Kenneth's story and help others. Absolutely. Kenneth, I know you've done some work with the Heart Association over the last couple of years. Tell us a little bit about your story and what brought you to this organization. Uh, yes, ma'am. In uh, 2018, April 2018, I was just chilling with my family. It just seemed to be a normal day. And next thing you know, I'm, long story short, I'm in the hospital with, I'm fading in and out. I'm barely conscious. I'm trying to manage the pain. So in 2018, I had a, uh, there was a growth that was going on my heart valve and I did not know about it until I went there. There was no type of, um, there was no symptoms beforehand or anything like that. I just knew one day I was just in pain. So I got, the next thing you know, I'm in the hospital. I'm getting tests done and they find out there was a growth on my heart valve and a piece of it flicked off and traveled down my kidney and block my kidney function, which is why I was getting that pain in my side. So next thing you know, about five days later, I'm having open heart surgery, which is about two months before I'm coming up here to UK. It was definitely a, it was definitely a scary time, but an enlightening time. I learned a lot about what, honestly, I learned a lot about what it takes to push yourself to that next level, because when I went through this, I started, I had my, basically started my lungs and my body back from stage one. Mm -hmm. So just to, um, just to make that, just to make that comeback of, it was definitely, I'm definitely blessed to be here. Jacob, you're here to show us exactly what we need to know about CPR and we have our mannequin here ready to go <laughs> for us. <laughs> so hands only CPR is very valuable. It takes 90 seconds to learn and it's only two steps. So, um, First step, you see somebody collapse, you witness a collapse, you're gonna call 911, take your phone, put it on speaker. Uh, that 911 operator will walk you through these steps if you're unsure about what to do. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is push hard and fast right in the center of the chest, a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute, and you wanna try and press down about two inches. So you're gonna press through the heel of your hand, you put your other hand on top, you get your body weight over that person. So. First hand on, second hand on top, lean over with your body weight, and let your weight do the work. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 14, 15. And so you no longer want to stop and try and give breaths. You just get the hands on the chest and compress until help arrives or you have somebody, another bystander that can come over and take over if you start getting tired. And, and Lisa kind of talked about this, how important it is to do it urgently. And we saw that kind of with Christian Eriksen, the soccer player during the Euros, where yeah. he had to have CPR and it was done almost immediately. Yeah, it was really. done immediately and it looks like he may have pretty good outcomes. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kenneth, for you, this is, uh, I mean, just to come back from what you had and, and to help out others like this is pretty special. And you've seen your teammates kind of take this on. You helped them kind of learn CPR as well. Yes, sir. I was fortunate enough to help, uh, to help teach the team CPR. 
So I'm just definitely, uh, I'm definitely blessed to be in this position to where I could take, because CPR was never something that had to happen to me personally, mm -hmm. but I found out, unfortunately I found out the hard way that people don't learn enough about heart and heart health until it's too late. So I'm thankful to the American Heart Association. I'm thankful to UK Healthcare. I'm thankful to Coach Stoops for just helping me with this, just with this platform to help everybody learn more about heart health. So now if people, if just people know their basics, then we'll be all, we'll all be able to know more and just do better and help each other out. Thank, Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you all so much, Lisa, Jacob, Kenneth, thank you so much for coming by and helping us learn a little bit more about this. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. So, thank you. You can join Horsey, the American Heart Association and UK Healthcare in their quest to train a community of heart savers and challenge your friends to join you in learning hands-only CPR through their social media challenge using the hashtag AHA CPR challenge. You can also follow them on Twitter at Heart Kentucky or check out our website, bbntonight.com, for more information. We'll be right back.